From the perspective of the organizers, one thing we set out to achieve was to generate a breadth of cancer research so that people would be exposed to all aspects of it. The clinicians would hear about the basic science, the basic science would hear about good clinical research as well. And to that extent, I think it's been very satisfying. The other thing that I'm very pleased with is the extent to which there's been good networking between people between the sessions as well as the talks within the sessions. NCRI has an enormous amount to contribute to British Cancer Research by bringing people together and educating them reciprocally so that they learn about what each other are doing. And it can also contribute an enormous amount in increasing collaboration and interaction. So at all those levels, I think there's a lot to, to try to achieve in future NCRI conferences. And I hope very much that we've made at least a small step in that direction at this conference. But there have been several striking highlights. And I think that some of those center on progress in understanding how best to design clinical trials. And there have been some excellent uh, sessions on and plenary talks on clinical trial design. But another area that I think is coming to the fore is understanding how we can uh, use the changes that have caused cancer to improve the targeting of drugs, a concept which goes under the rather complex name of synthetic lethality is one that I think we'll be hearing a lot more about. And this uses the knowledge of what's gone wrong in a cancer cell to target a parallel pathway that the cancer cell is more dependent on than the normal cell. This gives the cancer cell a disadvantage and therefore the patient an advantage. And I think those sorts of approaches will have a considerable future in future cancer research.